Okay, hi guys and welcome to the show and today a bit of a uh, watch strap spectacular. I've got so many new fantastic products in. One particular product from wristwatch candy uh, is actually a world exclusive and this is a brand new product. It's a kind of a hybrid between a NATO strap and a leather strap and it's absolutely stunning. It's genius they've got this kind of um, real leather underneath and then on top they have this kind of s slightly I don't, I'm not sure if it's nylon or different kind of fabric so this one they have a nylon on the top uh, and they have all all leather ones which really really cool you'll notice the buckle is is different as well and we'll we'll, we'll go into this in just a moment but I'm really really honored uh, to be able to bring you this kind of world premiere of this brand new strap as well as a new line of uh, watch straps from Coloreb my friend Fabio in Rome uh, this is the new uh, Roma and Amalfi line and I've you just got to love the fact that he's naming the the these new products after you know beautiful places in Italy which really you know touches touches my heart you know it's um I just adore that it's such a it's pure class what a, what a nice touch this is my luxury leather watch strap maker of choice and you can order directly from coloreb.it and they have fantastic service anywhere in the world and also they are also carried by Holbens here in the United States so what we're going to do here oh by the way we've also got a, a fantastic load of pearl on straps also provided by wrist candy so we're going to get into that in just a moment so I thought we we'll, would start off with this new product that I'm really excited to bring you and I thought why not uh, get the old super speedy out and uh, have a look and see what it's like on the super speedy so we'll just remove the the, uh, the wrist candy watch club NATO which I, I really do recommend now it is a bit stiff fit here because lugs on the speedy are 19 millimeters and this is a 20 millimeters trap so there is a little bit of it's quite rigid but um so buckle always on top just pull it through nice and, nice and tight look at that doesn't that match the speedy beautifully look at that absolutely stunning underneath they've uh, they've signed it which is really really cool and when you put it on it's going to be a little bit tricky to do on camera but i'll try and do it but as you can see, I love this fabric. Really cool. I'm not sure what the fabric is. Now, you, when you wear it, you you it goes through like this. Let's just put it through one of these holes. And it's just a much more secure. You see, it's very hard to um, get out. You know, it's not going to slip off. And I really like that. It's really ingenious. Love this cool buckle design and the fact that it's kind of like a, a hybrid. You know, with this different materials and you know leather on the on the tongue here I think that's absolutely fantastic really really like this so it's cool to have a kind of something completely different now I'm gonna bring in the Squirrelet and I'm gonna try out one of the uh, blues on the Squirrelet and I think I think we should go with the orange really shouldn't we yeah let's, let's try that and the Squirrelet is fantastic for NATO straps because you've got a lot of room there and the, the spring bars are placed beautifully so Let's have a look. Let's, placing this is much easier. Look at that. Absolute pure class. Look at that. You, you really, you know, I mean, first of all, not that many people have squire it one, five, two, ones like this. So you already, you already got a more individual iconic watch. And then paired with a strap like this, absolutely fantastic. So I'm just going to put it on really quick, see what it looks like. Oh, I'm going to take off the black beads because it doesn't really go. Oh, and by the way, I'm doing a video about these very, very soon, so stay tuned. And then, there we go. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Really, really cool. Really pleased with that. So as I take this off, just to recap, show you, it goes down, right, down the buckle. And then you can have it back up like that, like that. So extra extra kind of uh, so when you're taking it out it doesn't slip off uh, or you can just do it the normal way without that and put it through like this and then tuck back any extra 
like that. So there's a number of ways you could do it, and I just find I think it's really ingenious. A little bit of tweaking, I think a little part of leather here, just to hold this in place, would be really cool. Uh, because unfortunately, it can just come off. But you know, this is the this is their prototype, so I'm really kind of honoured to um, to bring you that. So anyway, let's move on now. Uh, I, they've also sent me a, a whole bunch of pearl on straps, and these are absolutely gorgeous. These are really kind of um, they're tiny little threads that are interwoven, and they they don't have any holes. What you do, you you just push through the little the little gaps, and you make which is cool because you can you can you decide where the hole is, and you really get a fantastic fit with this. So. We'll just quickly try on a uh, pearl on strap, and of course I'm go I've gone for orange. These give these kind of a, 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 a slightly kind of retro look, and you'll notice these are good ones because they glued them, glued the tip down, so there's no fraying here, which is fantastic. What you want to look for, and there is uh, a little loop here. There, okay. So let's put this on and see what it looks like. Now for me, these are these are quite long because I obviously have skinny wrists. Uh, but what I've done, I've, if you just have a look there, I've just put it back and tucked it back under the loop. And uh, the great thing is, obviously, yeah, because it's woven, you decide how the fit you want. So for me, these are fantastic because it's breathable because there's gaps. It's really, really good, especially for a hot, sticky climate. Now, these I'd have more for the summer. I'm not going to probably wear this. Uh, I'm not going to probably wear this that much um, in the winter. But this is really great, and I love how you can tuck this back uh, if you have skinny wrists. So these are really cool, and I, they're they're quite affordable, and they come in a variety of colors, really bright colors. Let's just try a different color. And I I think they they have a slightly kind of smart aesthetic, more. Formal certainly than NATO. NATO is very kind of military esque. You know, I just love a, of a bright colour. I mean, who cares if it's a you know a red or um, grey would work fantastically. You know, really really cool. And then of course, the last thing is Kolarev. Now this is the new Amalfi and Roma line. So we have a really nice choice of colours. There's a rich brown here. I've got a fantastic blue. I think I might try the blue. For the squirrely. Let's just move this out of the way. Uh, what else have we got here? Wow, a real nice rich chocolatey. And these 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 are all handmade, uh, beautifully stitched. I mean, just, let's just have a close look at one of these. Absolutely stunning, stunningly made, handmade, vera pelle, made in Italy. This is luxury standard, you know. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if, if Colored get a get a contract with with you know a luxury uh, watchmaker to do their straps and the last one what is it i think it's a black oh no no really cool light kind of tanned color a bit like the one that came on the um squire in fact i think this would really really work because the light colors here i'm gonna have to go with blue don't you think yeah look at that that's gonna be absolutely pure class don't you think so let's change the strap and, and uh, see how we get on now before we get into this I highly recommend you get one of these these are little uh, spring bar watch strap changing tool and you can unscrew this and change the uh, the end here but it comes with two two different sizes I use the little one now I must say these are really kind of nasty cheap steel made things and this is highly abrasive so what I'm going to do, what I like to do on mine I like wrap the handle in tape because if it gets anywhere near the watch it can really scratch the watch so put a little bit of tape around it, it doesn't have to be perfect also so it's easier to grip then because this sorry it's not the problem I just had it near my watch and this awful grip here scratched my watch and these you can get four dollars off Amazon they're very affordable so I'm just gonna just gonna put a bit more tape around this end as well so let's do that now there we are. 
very easy just doing like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then it's actually it makes it kind of more easier to grip. So just a cheap, cheap uh, four dollar spring bar tool from eBay. Right, so let's get started. Now the I always find it best to work with the face uh, away from you. You get the little the little one with this finger here. You push the bar towards you. Okay. So with this this one, we're gonna move it very carefully. We're gonna push this way down. Get the little spring out, and then in this finger, we're pushing this way. So okay. So we're gonna do that right now, and it flies off like that. We'll do the same with this side. After you've retrieved your little spring bars, we're just going to put them down here for the moment. So we get our, we get a desired watch strap. Now the the buckle end always goes at the top, so we'll do that first. It might be a little bit stiff. Sorry, no zoom. Because there we go. Just get that. Push that down. There we go, really stiff, so we just have to push that down in there. There we go, get it all the way down. All the way down. So now, as you can see, it's coming out both ends. Right, so this is ready. Now we'll just do the inner. Our next one, put it through the little hole there. Again. Push it through. This one was a lot easier. So there we go. So it's ready for action. Get the watch. Make sure the 12 o'clock, you know where the 12 o'clock is because the buckle is going on this end. So it's going to be, it's going to go in here. Turn it around. Make sure you get a hold of it. Again, use this finger as support. You want to put one end in. You position it like that. Get your little spring bar tool. Push this down. Pop it in, and then you just click. You heard that click, and it's in. Boom! That's one done. Oh, look at that! Very, very nice. Now let's do the tongue end. Same again. Turn it on its face. See the hole down there. Put this one in. Ready. Then slide it into position. Get the little. Oh my God! I just realised I still got the plastic on the back of the case. I should take that out anyway. Okay, so it's ready, it's prepped. This one's already in the hole. Push it down. Get it in there, take the fork out. Wait for the click, wait for the click. Is it clicking? Oh, it clicked already, it's already in there. Done, just give it a wiggle, make sure. And boom, there we go, look at that. Let's take the plastic off, why haven't I taken the plastic off? There, that's better. So, look at that, absolute pure class. We are ready for business. Let's get a quick wrist shot. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. And I love the sizing of the collar labs. They're just sized perfectly for me. Fantastic, Fabio. You've really done capo lavoro here, capo lavoro. Veramente. Bellissimo. Bellissimo. Guarda questo blu. Bellissimo. Grazie tantissimo. Mille grazie. So, Big shout out to Colreb in, Ro in Roma. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, they deliver. Fantastic, high-end, luxury, leather straps. And they're affordable too. I mean, they're, honestly, they're very affordable. I'll, I'll put a link down below and you can you can order one for yourself. Let's put that over here. Just tidy up a bit, getting a bit mucky here. Let's just put that there for the moment. Now, I want to take this new De Beers uh, strap that I got from Holbens. I want to take it off if this thing ever in focuses and I think I might put a pearl on on it so yeah I'm gonna put a pearl on it so the same rule apply this is a little bit difficult because we haven't got much we, we have to really push this leather strap to expose the little the little spring bar so let's try and get in there very difficult to do so we just Pry it down, and it comes out like that. Easy, and this this finger was pushing it towards us. Let's do the other side. Very difficult to do this one. So there's hardly any room. There we go, and push it towards, and it comes out like that. Easy peasy. 
Okay, wasn't as difficult. Now we'll take the, the little spring bars out. We want to put the spring bars back in. So again, with this finger, put it first in the big in the bottom. Let's get it nice and close and very carefully grab a hold of it, pull it down. Oh. There, and then we just need to push it into the hole. Boom! There we go. It's done. Do the other one. Again, it's in the bottom hole. It's in position. Push it down. Boom. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright? So, what colour are we going to use? Well, I think a grey looks quite nice. Black is a bit predictable. Ooh, we could go for a green. Let's go for a green, just something completely different. Wind it through, buckle at the top. Look at that. Wow. For some, for some summer attire, fantastic. Let's just have a look. I think actually, let's go for brown. Nice chocolate brown, yeah. Fantastic, look at that. Still, still kind of looks dressy, but has a kind of more I love that. I really like that. That's really cool. Absolute pure class. So let's have a look at our, our three, three straps that we've done today. We've got this new prototype from uh, Watch Arist Candy Watch Club. We have the new line, the Roma and, and Amalfi line from Colareb in Rome. Also Holbens carry them as well. And then of course the Perlons. These really cool pearl on wrist candy watch club. Three really fantastic, fantastic options. So let's just put this down back here for us for a moment. And I just want to show you one last thing. This is from Red Rooster in the UK. And I often get asked uh, for guys who have really big wrists and guys who have small wrists. I recommend you get one of these. This is a leather band hole puncher. Basically comes with the hole puncher itself. Uh, two different sized attachments. You just unscrew this. And a little uh, acrylic board. Up, you see I've already used it. Let's say, let's say we wanted to make this a little bit bigger. We could, we could stamp a hole here. Just make sure that you do it with a pencil planning out perfectly. Or if it's too big, you can put a hole on this side and you always make sure this is on the other side. Let's just show you real quick. So you'd you'd place this on a table. You'd mark out with a pencil, just a little pencil where where you'd go. Make sure you want you have the correct attachment. And then this basically you push down. Kind of does this. It has like a little piston in it. Just push down, and it makes a hole very neatly. Now the great thing is is the two attachments. This one is a 1.5 millimeter and a 2 millimeter um, attachment. This one I just used on the belt because my wife needed an extra hole in her belt so I used it on, you can use it on all kinds of leather products. It worked out beautifully and also put the small attachment and then you can make holes, extra holes on your strap. So this is perfect for guys who have either really small wrists and need an extra hole on their ba leather bands or guys who have really big wrists and you want to add an extra hole on this end so it works both ways and I totally recommend this I think it's about $15 but just an essential little bit of kit uh, to add to your arsenal as well as uh, one of these cheap spring bar forks I don't know if you can see that with the two ends here just make sure you know put some um, uh, sellotape so this because this it, it's so abrasive this is you know it's cheaply nasty cheap cheaply made but um, yeah okay guys get yourselves one of these if you if you want to uh, make basically have any leather band work for you um, because sometimes I found that particular brands they just didn't fit right and it's a shame because I really like their leather bands but with this you can put your own holes in it and customize it so it's a really fantastic and obviously it wor works on suede and anything okay guys i'm gonna wrap it up there thank you very very much for watching please like this video if you found it useful and enjoyed it and i'll definitely catch you in the next one okay guys ciao